today we shall revise the poem how beautiful is the rain first i shall tell you the summary of the poem and then we shall do some questions and answers and some exercises so the poem is written by h w longfellow on rain in a summer day he is overjoyed by the shower in a hot day he opens the poem by exclaiming how beautiful is the rain which shows his happiness and excitement about rain he talks about how the shower relieves him from the heat and dust of the summer in the first 9 lines he is just mesmerized by the rain washing off all the heat and dust from the narrow and broad lanes of the city and he repeats the statement how beautiful is the rain he speaks about how the drops of rain falling on the roofs have a rhythmic appeal to it the sound of falling rain on the roofs of houses sound like music he compares the sound of the falling rain with the hoofs of horses to give us an image of the rhythm and sound of the rain drops on the roofs he writes about how the rain falls from the sky as if it is freeing from the overflowing clouds in the sky in the next six lines longfellow is talking about what it looks like when the rain falls on the window pane and how swift and wider the gutters look as they are full of rain water and filled with mud it looks like a river roaring down he feels overjoyed about the rain and welcomes it with open arms Now that I have told you the summary of this poem let us now do some questions and answers and exercises First I shall read out the questions for you and then we shall discuss them one by one Question A Revise answer the following with reference to the context Reference 1 How it clatters along the roofs like the tramp of hooves Question 1 Which poem is this line taken from Name the poet This question has two parts Number 2 What is it referred to as here Question number 3 Explain the lines in your own words Question number 4 What does the poet compare the sound of falling rain with So read the reference carefully before answering the question reference 1 how it clatters along the roofs like the tramp of hooves question 1 which poem is this line taken from name the poet answer this line is taken from the poem how beautiful is the rain the poet is h w longfellow question number 2 what is it referred to as here answer it here is referred to the summer rain question number 3 explain the lines in your own words answer the poet speaks about how the drops of rain falling on the roof have a rhythmic appeal to it he compares the following following rain on the roofs of houses to the hooves of horses to give us an image of the rhythm and sound of the rain drops on the roofs i repeat this answer the poet speaks about how the drops of rain falling on the roofs have a rhythmic appeal to it he compares the falling rain on the roofs of houses to the hooves of horses to give us an image of the rhythm and sound of the rain drops on the roofs question number 4 what does the poet compare the sound of falling rain with answer the poet compares the sound of falling rain 
with the clopping sound of hoofs of horses. I repeat, the poet compares the sound of falling rain with the clopping sound of hoofs of horses. Next question. I, repeat, I read out the reference for you. And swift and wide with a muddy tide. Question 1. Which poem is this line taken from? Name the poet. This po uh, question has two parts. Next question. Explain the lines in your own words. Question number 3. Why is the rain water muddy? Question number 4. What do you understand from the line previous to the given line? And swift and wide. So read the reference carefully again. And then answer the question. I'm reading out the reference for you. And swift and wide with a muddy tide. Question 1. Which poem is this line taken from? Name the poet. This line is taken from the poem, How Beautiful is the Rain. The poet is H. W. Longfellow. Question number 2. Explain the lines in your own words. Answer. The poet tells us how swift and quick and wide the gutter or the drains look as they are full of rain water and filled with mud. It looks like a river roaring down its course. I repeat the answer. The poet tells us how swift and quick and wide the gutter or the drains look as they are full of rain water. And filled with mud, it looks like a river roaring down its course. Next question, number three. Why is the rain water muddy? Answer. The rain water is muddy because it collects all the mud and dust that had gathered in the summer time. I repeat. The rain water is muddy because it collects all the mud and dust that had gathered in the summer time. Next question number four. What do you understand from the line previous to the given line and swift and wide? Answer. The previous line to the given line is it pours and pours. This line shows that the rain is continuously falling non-stop for quite some time now. I repeat. The, previous, the line previous to the given line is, it pours and pours. This line shows that the rain is continuously falling non-stop for quite some time now. Let us now move on to the next set of questions. I shall give you the answers to these questions as and when I read out the questions. So listen carefully. Answer the following questions. Question number one. Why does the poet say that the rain is beautiful? Answer. The poet says that the rain is beautiful because it comes in the hot summer and settles the dust and in the air and cools the heat. I repeat. The poet says that the rain is beautiful because it comes in the hot summer and settles the dust in the air and cools the heat. Question number two. Which are the places where the rain falls upon? The rain falls upon the narrow lanes and the streets that are heated up by the heat of the sun during the summer season. I repeat, the rain falls upon the narrow lanes and the streets that are heated up by the heat of the sun during the summer season. Number three, what does the poet compare the gushing of the rainwater with? Answer, the poet compares the gushing of the rainwater with the water that runs out of a spout. I repeat, the poet compares the gushing of the rainwater with the water that runs out of a spout. Number four, who welcomes the rain and why? This question has two parts. Answer. The poet and the people who love rain after a hot summer day welcome the rain. 
The rain is welcome because it cools the heated earth and the heated atmosphere. I repeat, the poet and the people who love rain after a hot summer day welcome the rain. The rain is welcome because it cools the heated earth and the heated atmosphere. Now we shall move on to the exercises. Complete the following lines. Number one, how beautiful is the rain? And then you have three dashes. You have to write the next three lines. Number two, how it gushes, dash. So you will complete this line and write the next line. Number three, like a river, dash. Again, you will complete this line and write the next line. Number four, across the window pane. And then you have four, three dashes. So you will write the next three lines following this line. This exercise you shall do on your own. Now we shall do a little bit of grammar. Let us revise and gender today. First, I, we will revise prepositions and then gender. So, as we have learnt in our previous class, a preposition shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and some other word in a sentence. Prepositions are usually placed before nouns or pronouns. On, under, into, between, towards, across, are words that tells us about the position of the first noun in relation to the second in a sentence. Prepositions help us answer the questions, where is it? For example, Ravi is standing behind me in the queue. Place the jars on the shelf above the window. There is an antenna on the roof. The ant fell into the pot of honey. Oh. Little, Ron Little Ronnie is hiding under the quilt. Words like on, at, at, by, for, since, past tells us when something happened. They help us answer the question when. For example, the incident happened at 2 o'clock. We will wait until she arrives. The results will be announced on Tuesday. Mrs. Chadda has been living here since 1970. It was past her bedtime when mummy returned. The prepositions with and for tell us about the use or purpose of something. For example, the children decorated the Christmas tree with stars and ribbons. The author is writing a book for children. Words like from, through, towards, across and to tell us about direction. For example, the army charged towards its enemy. Ravish through the stone across the river. The prepositions at, in and on are used to talk about time. We use at when we talk about an exact time on the clock. It is also used for a point of time within a day without the. We use in for a period of time within a day. It is also used to talk about something that happens at some time during a month, a year, a season or a century. We use on for a particular day or date. We do not use in, at or on before these words. One, next, last, every and each. The prepositions in, at, on, under, behind, between, among, and in front of tell us the location of persons or things. We use at to show the exact location of a person or a thing. We use on to show that the person or thing is touching the surface of something. We use in to show that the person or thing is inside something. 
we use under to show that a thing or person is directly below the surface we use between to show that something or somebody is in the middle of two things or people we use behind to show that a thing or person is at or towards the back of something or somebody and often hidden by it or them we use in front of to show that a thing or person is further forward than somebody or something but not very far away we use among to show that someone or something is in the middle of three or more things or people now that we have orally revised the usage of some of the most commonly used prepositions let us now do some exercises since this is a revision exercise you will do the exercises on your own i shall read out the exercises for you only tick the correct preposition in the following sentences number 1 he visits us on or at monday number 2 We have a holiday on or at Tuesday. Number 3, we attended the party at or in the evening. Number 4, I left office at or in 8 o'clock. Number 5, we met all our friends on or at the party. Number 6, Ria takes a walk at or in the morning. Number 7, Suman and Simi met in or on January. Next exercise: fill in the blanks with the correct prepositions from those given in the brackets. You shall do this exercise on your own. Number one: the butterflies are fluttering dash the flowers in brackets above from at. Number two: the tiger ran dash the den. when it heard the shot in brackets below into across number 3 the new girl in class is dash tamil nadu in brackets of from in number 4 she has been waiting for the letter dash yesterday in brackets till since from number 5 their flat is the one dash ours in brackets under below in number 6 the train passed noisily dash the bridge in brackets across under from number 7 we are camping out dash a week in brackets from over for number 8 i will visit my dentist dash wednesday in brackets in on at number 9 the village was destroyed dash the fire in brackets about beside by number 10 they paddled the boat dash the landing dock in brackets towards about behind next exercise complete the sentences with suitable prepositions this exercise you shall do on your own Number 1 Did you bring the chicken dash school? Number 2 Put the flowers dash the crystal vase. Number 3 We could not see the sun as it was dash the clouds. Number 4 Mosquitoes are flying dash his head. Number 5 I live dash link road dash calicut. Number 6 The meeting got over dash 6 o'clock. Number 7 Sonia's brother jumped dash the pool to save her dog. Number 8 they gave the presentation dash dinner and number 9 it has been raining dash the month of April. Number 10 I sat dash the statue and my friend took a photograph. Next exercise fill in the blanks with on upon in or into This exercise you shall do on your own. Number 1. The mouse sat dash the chair. Number 2. Suddenly a cat pounced dash it. Number 3.
the fish is dash the water number 4 mohan jumped dash the swimming pool number 5 spread the carpet dash the floor number 6 look at the picture dash the wall number 7 once dash a time there lived a wicked queen queen number 8 the people ran dash the building when they heard the blast number 9 My shop is right dash the road. Next exercise. Fill in the blanks with for or since. Number 1. We stayed in Delhi dash 10 years. Number 2. Please wait dash 10 minutes. Number 3. We have lived here dash the past 5 years. Number 4. I haven't met her dash September. Number 5. Will you be away dash a week or dash two days? Tell me dash. I have to make arrangements. Number six. I have been waiting dash you for so long. Next exercise. Fill in the blanks with appropriate prepositions. This exercise you shall do on your own. Number one. Please do not sit dash my chair. Number two. A path is beset. Dash difficulties. Number three, is she related? Dash you. Number four, she is true. Dash her word. Number five, I have an appetite. Dash knowledge. Number six, she has no control. Dash his expenditure. Number seven, I admire your devotion. Dash your studies. Number eight, please give me the key. dash this room number 9 there is no cause dash anxiety and number 10 there is no error dash this account now we shall revise gender we have learned that a noun that denotes a male is said to be of the masculine gender and a noun that denotes a female is said to be of the feminine gender examples of masculine gender are father brother cock king and examples of feminine gender are mother sister hen queen again a noun that denotes a non living thing is said to be of the neuter gender example ball doll tree glass etc a noun that can that can denote both a male and a female is said to be of the common gender example baby child teacher etc now there are three ways in which a feminine noun can be formed from a masculine noun in the first instance by adding e double s to the masculine gender for example prince changes to princess lion changes to lioness sometimes the form is slightly changed before e double s is added for example actor changes to actress tiger changes to tigress in the second instance while forming the feminine noun a whole different word is added for example girl changes boy changes to girl uncle changes to aunt and bull changes to cow in the third instance while a, while forming the feminine noun a word is added to it for example grandfather changes to grandmother landlord changes to landlady etc so now after orally revising the rules to changing a masculine na- gender to the feminine gender let us now do some exercises on gender write the feminine gender of the following i'm reading out the words for you host heir stepson tiger god priest sir waiter hunter duke heber buck negro conductor cock next exercise write the name of the gender to which these underlined nouns belong to number 1 the actor was wearing an old costume actor belongs to the masculine gender number 2 both vivek and arushi are good athletes athletes belongs to the common gender number 3 good students respect their teacher 
both students and teacher belong to the common gender number 4 the master treated the servant well master belongs to the common gen uh, masculine gender and servant belongs to the common gender number 5 the princess played with her lamp princess belongs to the feminine gender number 6 the king and the queen loved him king belongs to the masculine gender and queen to the feminine gender number 7 the mother loves the child number 8 the bridegroom brought the bride home number 9 i have five nephews and two nieces and number 10 there are 30 girls in our class so number 7 8 9 10 you shall do on your own next exercise write the masculine gender of the following i shall read out the words for you and you shall do them on your own bride widow mother authoress madam bitch hostess daughter wife landlady lass nun witch waitress mare rewrite the following sentences using nouns and pronouns of the opposite gender Number 1 The bridegroom was riding a white horse. We'll change this and write the bride was riding a white horse. Number 2 My father is a doctor and he works in the hospital. You will change this and write my mother is a doctor and she works in this hospital. Number 3 The lion killed the daughter of a washerman. You will change this and write The lioness killed the son of a washerman. Number four, his nephews and brothers came to see him. Number five, your aunt warned him not to do this. And number six, the queen felt happy to meet the princess. So number four, five, and six you shall do on your own. And with this exercise, I end today's class.